This is Ababa Brahani presenting our paper titled Auditing Saliency Cropping Algorithms. So if you have interacted with digital platforms such as your uh, Google feed or Twitter uh, or Facebook, it's very likely that you have come across these so-called smart cropped images. These idiosyncratically cropped images are an end result of a saliency cropping pipeline that entails an input image that is then fed into a saliency estimation neural network that produces a saliency map over the image's pixels or regions that is in turn processed by a cropping policy resulting in a final so-called saliency cropped image. In this paper, we audited three such saliency cropping pipelines, one used by Twitter, which is called saliency image cropping, a second one by Google, which is called uh, crop hints, uh, and the third one by Apple termed uh, attention-based saliency cropping. And we investigated issues pertaining to the male gaze cropping phenomena, as well as race gender biases that emerge in post-cropping survival. The idea of the male gaze was first introduced by the British feminist film theorist, Laura Mulvey in A Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema in 1973. Mulvey situates male gaze as a process whereby women are transformed into passive recipients of male objectification in media representations. Experimental research published in journals such as Evolution and Human Behavior have discovered phenomena such as attractiveness fixations exhibited by young heterosexual males while gazing at women's bodies. The repeated occurrence of these male gaze-like croppings in user-uploaded images on Twitter led to speculation that the saliency estimation neural network may have encoded this male gaze adherent fixation during training on potentially biased datasets. In order to investigate this phenomenon, we gleaned through the tweet text of such male gaze cropped images and made a observation that the constituent original images were overwhelmingly from red carpet events such as the SP Awards and the Emmy Awards ceremony. A clue that was crucial in helping us unearth the primal repository of such images, the Walt Disney Television official Flickr account page. Then, with the help of a team of volunteers, we curated sub data sets that were even albums posted from this account that contained images of women that also satiated all of the following criteria showed here. The result of this was a probe data set that consisted of 336 images spanning seven albums. What we observed was an input image such as this of an athlete from the SP's award ceremony when passed through Twitter's salience estimation neural network would result in the max saliency region point being located right on the SP's corporate logo in the backdrop. This, when combined with its cropping policy, resulted in a saliency cropped image that seemed to encode the male case. So when we passed all the 336 images across the seven albums through the three saliency cropping frameworks, the results were in some sense astounding. For Twitter's SIC pipeline, of the 336 images, a staggering 138 had non-face-centered max saliency points, resulting in male gaze-like prevalence ratios varying from as low as 19% to as high as 79%. In our paper, we generate 583 by 3000 size 3 by 1 image grids in exactly the same format as the infamous Obama McConnell example, where the constituent faces were sampled from the Chicago Faces data set that consists of self-identified black and white volunteers controlled for saturation, size, resolution, lighting conditions, facial expression, clothing, and eye gaze, and other factors that might influence saliency. This study spanning 500 images per category over the six categories demonstrated that every single framework did suffer from at least one or two scenarios where there was profound racial and gender biases. To begin with, we observed that Twitter's saliency cropping framework's bias towards lighter skin tones got amplified under the conditions tested in our study involving CFD images. Google's crop hints framework displayed strong pro-male bias for both the black and white racial categories, and Apple's ABSE framework fascinatingly had the opposite bias as Twitter's showing strong preferences towards faces with the darker skin tone. To conclude, in this paper, we have covered saliency cropping frameworks used by Twitter, Google, and Apple. We hope that the community at large will use our assessment framework and data sets curated to stress test similar frameworks used by Facebook, Microsoft, file stack and algorithmic marketplaces such as algorithmia.